Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. I hope y'all are having an amazing day as usual. If you're new, please make sure to like, subscribe, always comment down below. In this video, we're going to be taking a driving tour of Plainfield, New Jersey, and a general area around. So we're going to do North Plainfield, maybe a bit of Wachung. Plainfield is, I believe, the largest city in Union County. It is Union might actually be bigger, but I should have checked the population before that. We got a McDonald's on my right, as well as a Family Dollar on my, no, it's a Dollar General on my left. All the dollar stores are basically owned by the same company because they always change. Like one, one minute, I know of a dollar store at Bloomfield. Originally, it was a Family Dollar in 2019. During the pandemic, it was a Dollar Tree, and then now it's a Dollar General. <laughs> so they kind of fluctuate. But um, Plainfield is a middle class city, predominantly Hispanic. According to the statistics, it's about 50% Hispanic, although every person I've seen since I've been in Plain, uh, Plainfield has been Hispanic. So I'm not too sure how those numbers are. We're currently heading down West Front Street. We got Isabel's Grill Restaurant, TMB Grocery and Meat Market. Crown Fried Chicken, Isabel Cafe and Bakery. We got a poppy store on my right for all the new yorkers a poppy store is a uh, new jersey philly term for a bodega so might just pull down one of the one of the blocks and then go back we got 5m grocery and deli on my left we're going to make a left on Plainfield Avenue. So, I apologize about this camera mount. It's really not the best. Uh, I'm going to try to go down a little bit, but this thing is horrible. I actually put this together myself using a tripod, so that's why it's so bad. We got an auto sales place on my right. Most of the Hispanics in this area are from Central and South America. Not like um, other places in the area like the Bronx or Patterson where it's mostly uh, Dominican or Puerto Rican. Or Caribbean Hispanic, I should say. But um, I've never really spent much time in Plainfield. We're right by the uh, Plainfield train station. It says NJ Transit train station on all the trestles in this town though, so I don't know what that's all about. Got that buggy on my left. Some apartments on my left. Plainfield was also in the news lately. Not lately, it was like two months ago. There was a um, there were several apartments in the city that was owned by some kind of landlord. Who was obviously a slumlord the apartments were condemned for like unsafe conditions a bathtub collapse just like some crazy stuff like the ceiling on top of a bathtub collapsed and just like horrible conditions in these apartments and, and the people were frustrated they kept complaining but and then eventually they found the landlord getting into a car when they were trying to interview him and on the news and then somebody busted his window open If we wind up in North Plainfield, I apologize for that, but North Plainfield and Plainfield are basically one and the same. There's also a South Plainfield as well. Never been there. I think at this point we're just going to get directions back because we're heading to uh, Sterling. So. Now, one of the reasons why I know Plainfield is because of uh, Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon Ramsay. If y'all are familiar with the Kitchen Nightmares um, TV show, he went to a, a soul food restaurant here in Plainfield called Blackberries. And it was a, a mother and daughter duo. And the mother was like super down to earth. You know, she was like a great person, but her daughter was just spoiled. She had this restaurant handed to her, but she, everything... Obviously, the restaurant was failing, but she said that everything looked perfect. Everything she did was perfect, but 
the place was falling apart and the decor was so weird it was yellow and purple just like the Lakers and they had um she had records all over there just like just taped to the walls and like hanging from the ceilings like trying to be like a party disco vibe I guess but definitely failed at it because when Gordon Ramsay was sitting down this was probably staged but he just happened to tap one of the record record labels or one of the sorry one of the records and there was a huge hole in the wall <laughs> like a punch like it looked like somebody went and just went bah! like the hole didn't even look real and then although I believe a good 95% of kitchen nightmares is, is real so plant field is similar to um communities like Patterson, Elizabeth, but um, it's a lot nicer. Plainfield has its rough pockets, but there's also really wealthy parts of uh, Plainfield as well. Um, but most of it's just working class Hispanics, really hardworking people. We had a, a Seventh Day Baptist Church on my right. It was kind of dark there, so you couldn't really see it. We are now at West 4th Street. We are currently on Central Avenue. On my right is the Plainfield Fire Headquarters. That is a beautiful building. I'm going to try to pan the camera to the right a little bit. I'm going to zoom out so y'all can see that. Do you like the wide angle lens? You know what? I might go with the wide angle lens. You see a lot more. And especially because it's dark, it works really well. We got the Whitney Young Jr. Apartments on my left. So, to my knowledge, and I, I don't know 100% because I only saw this on YouTube, but there were they didn't say at any time on the news that uh, this dude was or the, the landlord was arrested. They didn't even say that the person that they were chasing. They didn't even say it was the landlord. But everybody, I, I don't know what the story was all about. There were tons of news stories about it too, so. Only problem with the uh, wide angle lens though, is it's not very bright. So, I'll go back to the regular. We got El Pariso restaurant on my left. Oh. They got a lot of Central Americans here too, so they be eating a lot of uh, pupusa. Shout out to El Salvador. We got Park of Madison Pharmacy on my left, Express Laundromat. Some of these businesses you can't see, so the one with the blue awning is a laundromat. And then there's one of those uh, Envios de Dinero and Envios de Carga. So you, those are businesses where um, Hispanics can make uh, money orders, shipments, people that don't speak English. And I was actually, we had, I had dinner at a um, Spanish restaurant in this area, and the lady did not understand any English. My Spanish is horrible. Oh, it's, it's, it's all right. Mas o menos también. But I'm definitely not advanced in Spanish, definitely not fluent. So, um, anyways. And she did not speak one bit of English at all. But it worked. You we were all good. The food was good. Expensive, but it was good. We got carne asada, rice, rados. And I forget how you say beans in Spanish. Arroz is rice. Lord, I forget how to say beans. We are now in uh, North Plainfield or Wachung, I believe. Yeah, we're in... Let me look at the map real quick. Yeah. No. Y'all don't even know where I'm at right now. I probably could edit the video right now, but I don't want to do that. Yep, we're in North Plainfield. I was right. North Plainfield Memorial Library on the left. Plainfield's the same. You got the uh, 
yeah, it looks like most of these houses are either, some of them are uh, multi-family units, others are single family. Stony Brook Laundromat on my left. Grove Barbecue. Oh, it's a Churrasco, so it's a Portuguese barbecue. Yo, if you think my Spanish is bad, but I don't understand, I don't even, the only word I know in Portuguese is Churrasco. I don't even know a bit of Portuguese. You got the Brook Farmer's Market. I think Portuguese is pretty different from Spanish, though. From what I've heard. So, back to that soul food restaurant, Blackberries. It closed in 2013. The episode aired in 2011, but it uh, closed in 2013. Most of the restaurants in Kitchen Nightmares wound up closing, and that's why um, Gordon Ramsay stopped doing the show. Although I think they're making a comeback with Kitchen Nightmares. So, I used to binge watch Kitchen Nightmares. Now I don't really watch it anymore. Last TV show I was watching was The Sopranos. Stony Brook School on my left. It doesn't say what type of school it is. I don't know if it's elementary or middle school. It looks like it's pretty big, so it might be a middle school. It's definitely not a high school. It's not that big. We are approaching on everybody's favorite Route 22. That was extreme sarcasm, by the way. We got the Cajun Crab, Louisiana Seafood, Good Guy Vapes, nah, Bad Guy Vapes. VIP, uh, VIP, VIP Honda is gone. Auto Spa 22, Honda. So we're approaching Wachung. I think once we reach Wachung, I'll start, I'll cut the video there because uh, Wachung, there's not really much there. It's a nice town, but there's not really much there. Honda, that's the new Honda dealership on the right. Midas on my left. Raceway Gas. Gotta make a right on this uh, interchange right here. I feel like right now the night drive is more just about socializing right now more than anything else, but... The streets around here are pretty bright, so if you came along for the ride and just wanted to see what the area is like, I guess you could see. But I'm narrating, so trust me, have faith in me. New Jersey always has these really annoying exits and interchanges. In New Jersey, they, they're not just like straight exits. They always, what they do is they have like a bridge, right? And they even do this in, in, in open country areas too in New Jersey. I don't know why they do it. So the acceleration lane or like the exit lane should just be a straight line and you get on the road, right? No, New Jersey goes past the road and then you got to make a right and go down a bend to get back on the road or, or to get to your exit, sorry. If you are not a good driver, I do not suggest you drive in New Jersey. But I would say 75% of New Jersey is not good drivers, so. <laughs> Hypothetically, you could be. We got a little shopping center on my left. Yeah, not really much here. Got a salon on my left. Um, so I feel like I keep getting sidetracked, but y'all want to hear more about blackberries? I think you do because that place was something else the sad part is is that all the chefs there, like usually on kitchen nightmares the chefs don't care nobody really seems to care but like the chef there was a chef named uh martine and he was like very professional about everything he went to culinary school he said he went to culinary school allegedly and he was just good at what he did you know, and all the chefs in there were pretty, pretty good, but, and his, her mother, like, she was great, too, and sadly, the daughter, I mean, literally, they renovated the place, Gordon Ramsay renovated the place for the lady, and changed the menu, people were liking it, but she couldn't accept that change. Now, the mother, she was 72 when the episode aired, I don't, I looked up on the, on some inter information. There's no information about her. 
the latest was from September, but they didn't mention Mother Mary. It was Shelly and Mary for those who, uh, did I see that before? Shelly is the daughter, but, um, no, Mother Mary, she was just amazing. All the food Gordon Ramsay hated until he got a dessert. Mother Mary made the desserts, right? The red velvet cake was so good. He had to give her a big fat kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Got some real nice houses on my right. It had a pond. Everything. So. Alright, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and God bless to all you guys. Have a good night.